What's up everybody, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. So today we have an animal, a gorilla. Uh, a male, I think it's either a silverback or a mountain gorilla, I'm not really sure. But it's a male gorilla and we're on a landscape page. Remember, use a pencil for these guys and hit pause if I go too fast. So, as usual, I'm gonna start with the eyes. So very human-like eyes. So we're gonna start, so center line, I'm just above the halfway point. His nose is probably gonna be along the halfway line here. So we're gonna come up a little bit and come over. And we're gonna do those sort of lemon-like eyes that humans and gorillas seem to have. So a curve line like that first. So that's the top eyelid. Okay. And then our bottom eyelid will come down around this. Curving down, you're looking for a sort of a, a lemon sort of shape. It's a real slender sort of lemon or like an almond or you know a sort of seed or something going that way. Then the iris, so kind of a bit of a circle, so you can see sort of it coming around this way. So just the top of it sort of cut off a little bit. And then his pupil just in here. Like so. Uh, so then just in here we have a little line for his tear duct. Just in there. Because gorillas cry too. <laughs> and then we'll come over and we'll do the other eye. So... The eyes are kind of further apart than human eyes. So, just, well, are they? Ooh, question. Yeah, they're a little bit further apart. So normally you'd fit another eye in between the eyes. So like his eyes are a little bit smaller. So you're a bit further than eye distance. So whatever the measurement for his eye is, you're just a little bit further over. Starting there. So kind of a bigger gap between his eyes. And we curve that line up again. Up and around. Don't worry if they're not exactly the same on both sides. It's better sometimes if they're not. It makes it look a bit more realistic. The bottom eye comes down around that way. The bottom eye lid, sorry, not the bottom eye. Down to the tear duct, kind of that pointy lemon sort of shape again. Tear duct in there, and his iris, semicircle, curve it around, trying our best to get him the same size. Not bad, and then a pupil just in here. Okay, so then we have wrinkles, like lots of wrinkles, because he's like tough looking dude and he's lots of leathery sort of skin. So we've got sort of eyelid lines coming up around his eyes here. Like that. This kind of goes back into there. And then we have an eyelid line coming underneath as well. Coming in there like that. Just adding a few more details. Another little line on his bottom eyelid there. Maybe another one sort of in here. Another one in there. So lots of wrinkles. I won't do too much. 
and then we'll do his top eyelid line over here as well. So let's see, kind of comes out this way, comes over. And then we have a few extra coming down around his tear duct. Top of his eyelid there. Bottom eyelid. So as you can see, I'm doing kind of sketchy sort of lines, not sort of solid. You can do it solid if you prefer that style, but I'm just going for sort of more loose kind of approach. Might make it look a bit better. So, So then we'll do, we'll go down to his nose and then we'll deal with that whole gray section around his mouth and stuff. Cause he's got a brow sort of area here. Okay, so we'll do, we'll do the lines for the inside of his nose just here. Kind of comes down this way. And then this will come up and under his brow sort of line. Just up over here. that way and then this side will do something similar so it can go like in like this around for his nose just there kind of come up over his brow just this way this will come back like so so with this down this way. Like so. So then these brows, so they're they're gonna go around now. Gonna go around his, his head. So it's got he's got this big sort of frowning kind of brow section just coming up and around his forehead here. Okay, and this is going to come down back into here on the other side and then these will have sort of wrinkle lines on them like that some like coming across the center as well This. this has sort of all these sort of wrinkle lines and stuff like that. Some on his brow, some lines coming down towards the center. Like here. Kind of some lines coming across this way. Ba -ba. So like here. Coming back around here. Another one in there. Kind of wrinkle lines. Coming up over the other side. Another one coming down. Into here. So, so that's his brow and then, so this is gonna come down like a mask sort of around his eyes, right? So coming down this way. Might be a little bit hairy on the, on the edges. So it comes down like this. Comes in a bit more in there. Same on this side more or less. Okay. So this is all gray skin and then it's all fur around this, okay? 
So now, so his nose, right? So his nose kind of starts just here, kind of with a bump, just bumping around here. Like that. Real wide nose. This is important for the characteristics of this guy. So real wide, comes down this way. And then it's gonna come down and in towards his mouth. Like into there. Then we may have a couple of bumps and wrinkles coming up over like this. That, and then some coming down his face, going this way. Same on the other side, pretty much. And then we have some wrinkles coming across the center of his nose here. So like coming across here, maybe down this side, like so. Kind of similar sort of shape to his top of his nose here. He's kind of coming down and in. And then we have this sort of inside kind of bone for his nose, just there. Like that. So a lot of lines. shadow coming down in here at the center of his nose coming down that way and then his nostrils so we have nostrils in here coming around like so they're dark black inside one there next one over here So, and then we have some lines coming around them. Big old nostril lines. Kind of a V in the center. This here, coming around the other side. And we have some lines coming down here. And like a double line coming down the center. Then at the bottom of this line we have his lips, so it's a big downturned mouth. So like that, real serious looking guy. And you might have like a bottom lip line as well, like here. Like so. Then of course this will come around the side for his mouth, just here. And you can add as much like wrinkles and stuff for his skin along here that you want. You don't have to add as much as me if you don't want, of course. I'm just going for as much detail as possible for those of you who might want it. But of course, you can leave out a lot of these wrinkles if you don't. 
maybe on his brow and stuff if you don't like them. But I'll go ahead and add as much as I can. There's a line up the middle of his nose here as well, actually, I forgot that. Just there. Maybe some. And we could add some sort of wrinkle lines at the top of his lip, sort of coming up. Like that. Maybe some on the bottom as well. Not too much though. Like so, okay. So now his chin, so it kind of comes down from the side of his mouth here comes into here and it's kind of a darker section a shadow sort of area just here on the side of his mouth just there and in here as well like so and this chin then has like sort of a bit of hair so it has a hair patch kind of coming across it so kind of coming along here so just adding these sort of hairy lines coming across like this this is the start of his fur on his face so it comes down like so and the rest of him is pretty much fur then so that's that's like one of the great ape sort of style faces that you can draw so if you want like under his brow we, we you could add some shadow if you wanted you could like darken this area up I think I will actually looks like it needs it actually yeah it looks better already So just making this line just a little bit thicker. I'm gonna do something like that over here maybe as well. So what I'm doing now is I'm just adding some hatching just along here just to try and darken up sort of this area without making it like super black. But I'll leave it like that. So, right, so his so the shape for his head and his kind of his jaw, so it's all fur, right? So let's see. So like coming down the side of his head here. So we've got like these sort of furring, furry lines coming down this way. Coming in for the side of his head there, right? And we'll do something similar over here. Coming in along his jaw. And then, so his, so this is like the side of his head fur, and then his, his big jaw comes down like this way, each side. Like, so furry sort of line coming down this way. So real sort of square, big. It's gonna come down around like to his chin about here. Okay. So adding just fur all the way down. You could do as much fur as you want, really. Like 
like so and then maybe just like a line coming up just this side of his mouth for the side of his mouth and a line coming down here some lines for his chin maybe a hairline or two on his chin here but not too much you don't have to add too much of that Okay, so we can see just a little bit of his ear just in here. So just like a curved line coming down just to his jaw in here. Same on this side. Just a small little bit. And you can see maybe some skin inside. Lines inside like that. Not too much. Like so. Okay, so the head, so the big old head. So we're going to go. So these come up like this, first of all. And then we have sort of a line coming across the center of his head. So like across here. It's got like two skulls or something. It looks really weird. It's like one bump like this. And then another bump that goes way up here. So like right up to the top. But it like comes down and joins his neck down along here. So it's actually outside. So like this is like his first head. <laughs> and then his second head is outside it. I know that's confusing, but he like has another part of his skull. That comes up this way. Like, see what I mean? And it goes around right at the top of my page. So all hairy spiking lines up here. And then it'll come down hairy spiking lines down the other side. Okay. So just adding sketchy sort of lines coming down like so. So the di if you're looking for proportions as well, the distance from the eyes to the top of the head is the same as the eyes to nearly the bottom of his chin. See that? So the eyes are halfway down his head. Just if you're trying to proportion things in the right place, get the head in the right place. This distance is the same nearly as this distance. Nearly exactly. There's probably a little bit more hair growing down his chin, but if you remove the hair, you'd have his skin there. And then that'd be proper proportion. And the no the eyes to the nose is about the same as the nose to the bottom lip. See that? It's about the same. To this line, to his bottom lip line. Right, so this uh, fur for his head joins his neck so it comes down and like goes out for his trapezius all the way out here and again sort of adding you could do straight lines if you don't want to do the fur I'm just adding fur just for because why not so big shoulders Okay, like, like so, and right, so this, yeah, we might have like an extra line, say for his neck, say coming down here. This might go all the way nearly to his collarbone, just down here. Right, so, lines for his chest. So just down here, coming out from his chin, we have like chest muscle coming down here. 
coming out kind of like a, a wine glass sort of shape. See that? Coming out kind of like a like a letter Y. Two lines coming out to there. And then they'll come down, get a bit narrower as we come down to here. Go up underneath his chin. And then we have some lines for his chest. So they come like down this way. So chest muscle lines coming down this way. One that way. One. One this way. And these go like in towards his armpit. So he's got sort of odd, it's not like a human. They kind of go down. And then they enter into his armpit line like here and then his armpit is in here and it's the start of his shoulder then so this comes down like that and then we have like another line here for like his shoulder muscle which goes off this way and then so that's his armpit and then like his chest should curve like this way a little bit. And we do pretty much the same sort of thing. So this, yeah, these come in. These come in a little bit more to his chest bone and curve around here. And then these come out like that. So like you can add some chest muscle lines if you want to go on, go on across like this. And then, so we do the armpit sort of area. So this area, which is, has a bit of a shadow in it. Do that over here. like armpit and then can I do that A line coming down for his arm and then his chest is like here Bit of a shadow in here and then another sort of line going up this way for his shoulder again And then the top line for his shoulder, like, say, like, imagine where his collarbone would be on a human. So it kind of, like, comes out, say, at the top of this chest muscle. So the, all these muscle fibers connect to um, joints and stuff. So this is going to come right up into here. And that means this is where his collarbone would be, where these muscle fibers are going into. Okay. Kind of a little anatomy sort of thing going on. So then this will bump up this way. It's more muscle really than bone, but it's like it's all wrapped around his muscle, his chest muscle. And then this comes across like so. Down to here. And then we have like another bump sort of here. And this will come down off to there. So these are like his shoulder muscles. Gone that way. And then the other one, same sort of thing, go up. Across to there.
gonna thicken up maybe some of these lines just to have them stand out a little bit more. And yeah, then same sort of thing. Okay, so so this is all fur and then so this is like skin so we have to like separate that like we did his face so this is going to come down from his jaw to around his neck so it comes like around his chest sort of area going this way This is all like hair and going into his arms and his arms are all hairy. And then same over here pretty much. Might be like some more lines coming up his head here. Some more sort of shadow underneath in his armpit. So you can add as much of this sort of hairline as you want. Want to try and give his fur a bit of texture. I'm going to give him a shadow underneath his chin here. Just maybe another neckline. I'm going to have to stop. I'm going to have to leave it there. Stop. Of course, I, I like my instinct is just telling me to cover all this in fur, but I won't have time. I'll just be able to just add some sort of texture. Ah, okay, I'll leave it there. That's the best I can do. In this amount of time anyway I hope it was helpful and um, yeah thanks for watching guys see you in the next one